yeah as you can see i'm already on the domain king um home page and um uh how i got there i simply typed domain king without the extension just search it the way you search you see it on the first appearance okay then you click on domain king then um next thing on your top right you see three lines there you click the options right then you see domains hostings website partners login click on login okay when you click on login um that is for people who have already created an account with domain king if you haven't created an account this is where you click this very place that they wrote register you register here okay i've created an account i've logged in the account and i've saved the password to my google google account so i'll simply just click and select the options the account is Steamzy Lee. It's Steamzy Lee's account, okay? So, um, Steamzy Lee is a Lagos-based uh, um, Lagos based blogger. He just came to me and said, okay, he wants to move from WordPress and learn some things about blogger. So, I'm trying to put him through, including uh, setting up his website. So, he created an account with Domain King bought a domain right and actually uh, gave me his logins for me to attach this domain so uh let me just quickly uh put you guys through if you haven't bought a domain and you want to buy just scroll down and write i i see register a new domain so let me say i want to register a new domain i want to register uh amblo.com.ng dot com dot ng I just register all right I just register then you see they'll pop up the price um, okay no 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 when you click register then you click I'm not a robot then you search right then you search then they will bring out all the options they say I'm blue does come the engines available is 1200 now then you just click add to cart from there you check out then you go you pay online using your card on flutter wave okay um in case you people want me to put you through how to buy a domain if you really want the full video on how to buy a domain you people you can comment and i'll make a video on that but i think it's straightforward you just click add to cart you check out then you move and you pay with your card then next on your top right again you go back um, I think you're already logged in right so you click on domains then you see options of my domains renew register a new domain transfer domain to us then you click on my domains when you click on my domains this will show you all the websites you have bought the ones that are active the ones that are not active and all of that okay so uh, he bought a domain name steamzynews.com.ng and it's active but he hasn't set it up now let me bring out a point here before on domain king you could set up your domain by yourself but later on it was shifted you actually send your c names to the customer care and they will set it up for you so now check the names of this website and then for you to get your c names you head to the website uh let me see you head to the website i just search blogger i search it uh, blogger you head to the website i click on this I go to my options okay oh shit let's it load again if i go to my options i click on the top left i click on the top left uh, then i go to steamzy uh website okay when i go to the website 
um and let me make this observation you can actually um name a website a different name and actually buy a domain name using a different name and when you fix it up together it will work okay when you fix it up together it will work i think his website is more of uh, let me see the name his website is steamz news 123 I won't edit anything. I will just add it up to steamzinews.com.ng and it will work. Go to your settings, okay? When you go to your settings, uh, you see basic privacy and publishing. That's the third settings. Then click on publishing. Now put the name of the domain you bought from Domain King here. The name was Teams. You just copy link address. You come here. The name was. Uh, Ah, no, remove this HTTPS. Google don't recognize HTTPS. It's www.com.steamzinu. Then remove that last slash. You mustn't copy and paste like I do. You type. Type the exact thing, okay? Then you save. Then they'll tell you that ah, you haven't been giving permission to this. Blah, blah, blah. You haven't been giving permission to this. You have to submit your C names to the website. Screenshot your C names, okay? Screenshot your C names. When you screenshot your C names, then copy them again. Okay? The name is this. Just check how they do it. The name on the C name is this. Uh oh. Oh sorry. I was I actually clicked on something and it was loading. So you go again. Mm. My browser is misbehaving. W dot Seems in news. Then I'll save. Oh, a blogger is misbehaving. But let me see. Let me see the things I copied. Actually, uh, okay, I copied them. So now you see, the first one I copied is a name. The second one is a destination. You can see them here. Copy the name and the destination. Make sure you copy them exactly, okay? Um, when you copy them, you can't save. So go back to your domain king. Go back to the client area. Um, click the, notes, uh, the options. Go to your support. Okay, not support. Go to open a ticket. So this is you trying to contact the customer care that, okay, support, click on support. That, okay, I have my C names ready. Subject, kindly attach C names to Steam Z News. Okay. Uh, the department is support. Related services. Um, Steamzinews.com. Abi. Steamzinews.com. The priority is high. Then you say kindly attach. C names to so, Steam C News. Okay, you see the name was um was like this. The destination. Then that the destination was this. All right. Then you go to choose file. Then remember I screenshotted the C names. So that the customer care can see it in case I made a mistake, right? 
um you click on images ah no you go to recent rather oh you, you refresh if you don't see uh-huh you're done you go down you click i'm not a robot that means you sent your c names to them the c names are like a permission to your website to join your website to the domain you bought okay you see ticket created now all you do is this the next thing you relax all right you relax the customer care will do everything and then like after an hour they'll message you in your email and tell you that they are done but a confirmation email will be sent to you in confirmation that they actually received these c names so now I'll go to uh steamzy's um, email when i go to steamzy's email i'll see it now this was what i sent to them kindly they said i oh, thank you for contacting our customer support the support ticket has now been open for your request now within an hour they will attach everything right when they attach everything they will tell you that you should wait for an hour now um after waiting for an hour you go back to your website when you go back to your website when you go to the settings these settings and you click on save it will actually save right it will actually save then you wait for like 20 minutes after 20 minutes your website will, will come up all right your website will come up boom and it will be having that domain name all right now let me let me let me after the the after they have done it they will actually send you an email that they are done okay so now um let's go let's go um this was a domain name i bought some few days ago now you see for this domain i have already configured all the settings for blogger.com required at our end please wait for a few hours for the settings to work properly so after like just an hour you come here you click save and to save after saving you wait for like 30 minutes right then there are some important things you should turn up turn uh, up on your website uh, i think they are turned up the https and uh, after the domain is uh let me just go to my website that i have a domain on and actually show you guys the things you should turn on on your website after you buy uh after you buy a domain name so after you buy a domain name there will be a redirection you know some people just type your name your, your website like okay like for steamzy news you just see steamzynews.com.ng so you tell them that okay steamzynews.com.ng actually refers to www.steamzynews so you turn up that redirection okay then your https you turn up your https after you turn all this up your website will start working i would have turned them up but we can wait for an hour for them to be done okay so my number is always on this channel or you can always comment on this video if you find any problem whenever you're trying to buy a domain name or you can hit me up on whatsapp whenever you want to buy a domain name then we do it practically okay then you see you get to see so um this this is a process of buying a domain name and I basically use Domain King, okay? It will surprise you that apart from Domain King, I don't know anything about any other domain buying site because I don't stress. <laughs> Once I find people who give me what I want, I just settle for them, okay? So that's the spirit. See you guys in the next video.